Hindi lamang bumisita, personal pang nag-report si Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa ating mga kababayan sa Brunei hinggil sa mga magagandang pagbabago sa Pilipinas. At bukod pa dyan, tiniyak din ng Pangulo na ginagawa ng gobyerno ang lahat para ang pagtatrabaho sa abroad ay maging choice na lamang at hindi na maging pangangailangan. Si Alan Francisco sa Sentro ng Balita. Mahalagang matatag na samahan ng Pilipinas at Brunei sa pagpapanatili ng kapayapaan sa Indo-Pacific Region. Ito ang binigyang diin ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa State Banquet kagabi na inihanda ni His Majesty Sultan Hassan al -Bolkiya. Ayon kay Pangulong Marcos, nagpapatuloy lang ang magandang samahan ng Pilipinas at Brunei sa matagal na panahon. Ganito rin ang laman ng payag ni Sultan Hassan al -Bolkiya. I would like to thank uh, the hospitality that has been shown by Your Majesty and the Royal Family of uh, Brunei and the people of Brunei. Uh, this uh, reflects the warm relations that our countries have had for a very long time, a very long time now. It is timely that uh, I visit, uh, my, I have my first state visit as president here to Brunei. As this year we are celebrating the 40th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. It is also particularly important that uh, we conduct this state visit as uh, we are now presently faced by many global challenges for which uh, Brunei and the Philippines have very many common interests. And so it is important that we continue to work together on a bilateral basis also together with ASEAN, with Bimpiaga, in all of these uh, methods for, by which we can, we can plan together for our own uh, uh, communities, but also for the peace and the stability of uh, the region. And uh, not only for Asia, but for the Indo-Pacific as well. Your vision is a testament to a strong friendship and close relations since our diplomatic relations were established 40 years ago. I also fondly remember your first visit here in 1984 when you accompanied your late father, President Marcos Sr., during our inaugural National Day celebration. The enduring ties that we enjoy at all levels today truly reflects our shared history and accomplishment initiated and built upon during the presidency of the late President Marcos Sr. Kapwa saksi si President Marcos at si Sultan Hassan al-Bulkiya sa paglagda sa tatlong memoranda of understanding at isang letter of intent sa pagitan ng dalawang bansa. The signing of the memoranda of, of understanding that we, uh, that we witnessed today are a significant step as we have made arrangements and partnerships and alliances in very many different sectors, all of which are terribly important in the area of agriculture, in the area of people-to-people -people relationships to tourism, in the area of transport, in the area of diplomacy. And all of these, I believe, will now uh, will, will be again uh, a birth of uh, new time together for Brunei and the Philippines. Bago ang state banquet, galing muna si Pangulong Marcos at First Lady Lisa Marcos sa Filipino Community Event sa International Convention Center sa Brunei. Dito ay mainit ang naging pagsalubong sa kanila ng mga Pilipino. Ang pinakagusto ko sa kanya is totoo siyang tao. Ilang, tsaka, keep up the good work, Mr. President. BBF forever. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa kay Pangulong Bongbong kasi ginagawa niya ng paraan para maging ligtas yung mga EFW. Kabilang sa inilatag sa speech ni Pangulong Marcos, ang pagsulong na gawing moderno ang agrikultura, renewable energy, at ang pagpapatuloy ng Build Better More o ang infrastructure programs. Kasama na ang rehabilitasyon ng Manila International Airport. Pagbalik po ninyo sa Pilipinas, we will hope to also welcome you to a new and upgraded Manila International Airport as we embark. Ito siguro ay tatagal ng mga 15 years. Pero itong mga, mga bagong pag, 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 pagpapaganda, 
ay inaantay natin na maramdaman na natin next year na siguro. Siyempre, as OFW yung airport, we're very excited na magkakaroon ng progreso sa airport kasi yung gateway natin sa ating bansa. And siyempre yung mga plans para sa uh, mga plans dito ng pagkoconnect ng agreements with Brunei and the Philippines. Excited kami siyempre dahil apektado rin kami. Inilatag din ng Pangulo ang pagdami ng trabaho dahil sa investment sa Pilipinas. To far exceed this mark by reaching 1.26 trillion pesos is a clear testament to the growing confidence investors place in fostering their businesses' growth within the Philippines. Upon full operations, the projects are expected to produce 49,030 jobs for Filipinos. Mula sa Brunei, Alan Francisco, para sa Pamansang TV, sa Bagong Pilipinas.